Tumela ni sangonani ni jani, mweni, afsheni, tobela, nda. Guys, we are here with October, November, IRM. And so sorry guys for being late. Uh, this assignment is from the duration from the 2 October 18 until 10 October. And then now it's 7, which means that I am late to post that one. Uh, sorry guys for posting very late. Um, I didn't know that this RM was out anyway. I found out during the weekend and then I have to make a video late. Sorry for that. So question number one, discuss imperial research and its components and provide examples when necessary. You know, about this one, about the imperial research, which is on the study unit three, make sure that you come here and summarize whatever it is on the study guide three so that um, you, 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 you get the full marks. If you don't know how to summarize, don't worry. I've already summarized. This is my summary. You should be writing like this, empirical research refers to the process in terms of which data is collected and analyzed for the sake of completeness, the term data is generally used in such scientific research for numeric or verbal information that is collected during. Then you come and explain the descriptive research. What is the descriptive is all about? As you can see, I have uh, explained the descriptive research, what, the, what is it about, and I even give an example. I come and explain the exploratory research and then I even gave by the Poppy Act, you can come here and then you will find these documents when you have and then we go to the explanatory research. Explanatory research is normal, carried out in cases where legal research has already been stored, done about a topic, then it's that one, then we go to evaluation research. As you can see, then the document is here for IRM assignments. As you can see, number one is here. And then, okay, guys, I've already finished this one. As you can see, it's very easy. Let's go to question number two. Question number two, find the case of Makate versus Vodacom um, and discuss this case in the prescribed format. And then it means that you have effect of case, legal, co uh, legal question, ratio, decision, or reason for the decision and findings. This question has a 15 marks, guys. Um, in order to answer this question, it's very much easier. Watch this and then you know to answer the question. Remember that question was answered last uh, semester and then I did that on the last semester. So you can just come and search, search that video. Uh, let me check that video and then I, I show you. Uh, where is that one? Uh, let me check here. Yes, this one. Uh, go ahead, come and search the video of IRM 112, uh, assignment number two, Makate's case. Come and, and find this case. You will find everything about this case. I have, have this video, I have uploaded the video long time ago last year, uh, six months ago about Mankate. It was an IRM, it's back, it's, it's back this case. Come here and find IRM 1501, assignment number two, Mankate case. Then you will deal with Mankate's case. Okay, and this is how I have answered. Here, let me just give you that the applicant in this matter was Mr. Kenneth Mankate. A former employee of the respondent Vodacom PTYL Limited, while serving as a trainee consultant at a Vodacom, Mr. Makate conceived the business idea of a new product known as the Police Call Me. In terms of his idea, cell phone user who does not have item, item will be able to request a call from another cell phone user. Mr. Makate intended to sell his idea to Vodacom or any other cell phone company that would really be willing to buy it. He related his idea to the mentor, Ms. Mushenje, the head of the Vodacom Finance Division. Based on the, his mentor's advice, Mr. Makate further discussed this idea with the Director of for, for Product Development and Management, Mr. Philip G. Heisel. Mr. Makate and Mr. Heisel then agreed that should Vodacom develop a commercial viable product based on Makate's 
uh, sorry idea Vodacom will compensate Nyakate for the use of his idea. They, however, agreed that they will discuss the amount of the compensation at a later date after a new product had been successfully launched. They further agreed that if they failed to launch an agreement on the amount of the compensation, the matter would be referred to the Vodacom chief CEO. Vodacom subsequently developed and launched a commercial successful new product called Please Call Me. Based on Mr. Makate's idea, Mr. Makate, the author of the concept, received praise from Mr. Hessler and Vodacom's management director, Mr. Timbu, for his idea. It is noteworthy that the Please Call Me product was launched before Vodacom's board approved it on 15 March 2001. This was in line with the common practice with Vodacom to make an employment business decision before the board approved such decision, although Mr. Please Call Me became a commercial successful project, Vodacom neither compensated Mr. Makate nor negotiated the compensation due to, due to him for the use of his idea to develop the lucrative products. Then in this question, the legal question was whether the agreement concluded by Mr. Hessler with Mr. Makate was binding on Vodacom, uh, the, uh, we checked the unstable authority. And then with Mr. And the second question was whether Mr. Makate's claim had a prescribed. Those are the two questions that the court was facing. Let me give you some ratio. They see dandy, a little bit. They said that majority judgment of the COCC, which is the constitutional court, dismissed the application of a high court on the interpretation of historical and unstable, ostensible authority as a synonymous. The majority held that the only element common to both doctrine is the misrepresentation that creates the appearance of authority. And in the case of ostensible authority, this element alone will suffice to bind the principal. Nothing more is required. The CC then evaluated the profile of Mr. Hessler's position as a director of Vodacom, the power that he had in respect of the introduction of a new product the organizational structure within which he exercised his power and the process which he had followed before the introduction of new product at Vodacom, the CC was satisfied that Mr. Hessler had unstable authority. Then, um, as I've said that, if you want to understand more about this business, this, this, this uh, Makate, you come and watch this video which I've done some six months ago, and you come and understand. If you want to watch this full video of his profile, uh, the video is now available. Uh, those who are paying, those who are supporting me, 99 rand, you're able to watch this video. And please, if you need um, a clarity, you will let me know if you need a clarity. So prepare. if you are in the 99 rand, you'll be able to watch this video uh, very well. So good luck guys in writing this one. And those who have already written, you can watch this video for clarification so that you know what you are writing, whether it's worthy or whether you have to improve somewhere. Uh, you can request this uh, document that I've written this assignment once you have paid 99 rand. Okay, guys, then when you are on the 99 rand, when you are inside, you can request this document, guys, I'll send to you. Um, have a nice day. Today is the 7th. I will make sure that I upload the video today. And then whenever you are watching, you will be able to watch the full video.